My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, First of all, may I wish each and every one of you who listen to me now a happy Christmas. Christmas comes from two words, Christ, and that word is added with Misa. Misa sounds the meaning to send. So Christmas is the celebration of Christ being sent to this world. The Son is sent by the Father and from Him And how is he sent? He is sent to be like one of us. God became human being in Jesus Christ. Gospel of John tells us and we proclaim and profess that the Word was made flesh. In fact, the Greek original tells us that the Word made his tent among us. He made his tent means he made his home. A home, to be a home, to be in the home, is a very special expression. God did not simply visit us. And we know that if someone visit us at home, that they will certainly leave us after some time, maybe an hour or two. If they are very close relatives of ours, maybe one or two days, then we know that they will leave us. Because this is not their permanent house. This is not their home. They are only visitors. But for us, those who live at home, home is our permanent residence. It is where we are supposed to be. It is our permanent address. The word made home amidst us means that God has decided to be permanently present amidst us. He is part of our life and that is why in the Gospel of Matthew, in the very first chapter we read that God is Emmanuel. Jesus will be known Emmanuel, God with us. And the Gospel of Matthew ends by saying, I will be with you always. I will be with you always. That means God has made his permanent residence amidst us. We must be thankful to God. And the Christmas is an occasion for us to be thankful, grateful for His permanent presence amidst us. We are never orphans. Whatever be the situation in which we are, 
whatever be the difficulties we undergo, God is with us. We are never alone. Christmas reminds us this permanent presence of God. For Christians, the sacraments help us to be always in His presence. From the beginning of our life till the end, God accompanies us through the sacraments. So the sacramental presence of God is so powerful for Christians. And these sacraments are central to their life. Sacraments give meaning to their life. Sacraments really bring us part and parcel of the life of God Himself. We become members of His house. We become His brothers and sisters. In the Gospel, in the Word of God, we read that we become adopted children of God through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. As children of God, in His house, we are called to live a, a life of warmth, affection, which we experience in our own families. And therefore, this Christmas invites us to live in a spirit of family. In a family, you find meaning to your life. In the book of Hebrews, letter to the Hebrews, we read in chapter 3 a comparison between Moses and Jesus. Moses was a great man in the house of God, but he was the most faithful uh, caretaker of the house. However, Jesus is also a great person in the house of God. He was a son in the house. To be a caretaker and to be a son, both are different. You are employed as caretaker in the house and you benefit from that. And you work in the house for that benefit. But a son lives in the house not for any benefit, monetary or otherwise, but the house is his home. It is where he is. He has his being there. And there he finds meaning to his life. We are called to be sons and daughters in the house of God. And therefore, let us feel with God, who is the father of our house. Let us feel with his church. The fathers of the church tells us, always reminds us a beautiful expression, sentire cum ecclesi. To feel with the church is what we mean to live in the spirit of the family. Let us be part of this family. Let us accept all the strengths and weaknesses, all the plus and minus of this house as our own plus and minus. And let us stand together in under the same roof, the roof of the church. Let us remember that we all are groomed in the womb of the church. 
Why do we have a special bond among our brothers and sisters? Because we all are groomed in the same womb of the mother. Church is our mother. We are all growing in her womb. And therefore, with that spirit of togetherness, let us celebrate this Christmas. Once again, I wish you a happy Christmas and a very prosperous new year, a life in the house of God. Amen.